Hello and welcome to this DroidScript tutorial. And today I'm going to introduce you to how uh, to integrate Node.js into your DroidScript projects. And we're going to start with a nice little demonstration on how to control a TP-Link smart socket you know, using DroidScript and Node.js. Now I've created a little demonstration for you here. Uh, with an app that basically lists our pl available plugs on our smart socket with the status of each plug. And so it's very simple. If you want to switch on a plug, you can press this and plug comes on, or you can also turn it off. Okay, let's get started building this, um, this app. And to do that, we're going to create a new app but call it and um, call it node js tp link and we're going to select a template called node native and that will set us up with all of the um, foundations we need to build the app so we've got the nodes um, here so it starts off and we're also going to use the material ui plugin as well now the demo uh, adds a module called Moments. Um, we don't actually need that. So what we do need is the TP-Link Smart uh, plug. So if you search on the internet for the node uh, TP-Link, you should come across um, this. And on here, it has examples on how to and use it, but also how to um, add it. So this is the module we need. So it's TP-Link Smart Home API. And if we copy that, instead of adding the module moment, we replace that with TP-Link Smart Home API. And that should be enough to install the uh, node module and ready to use. Uh, what we don't need now is anything that's using the moment stuff because in here it's going to um, crash. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of this. We'll keep the uh, layout and we'll just get rid of all of that. Right, so now we've got a blank layout with um, the loader on the module for there, the smartphone. Uh, we don't also need this as well. So if we go back to the documentation for the smart home, what you'll see is a, an example to start you off. And we're asking um, to require the API and we get the stuff and then we either get the device um, directly using a host or uh, look for devices on the network. So this is what we're going to use. So let's just copy paste this, this um, demo. And really, that's that's what we can do for many of them. And we're just going to post it into our on start. And this is it. So we add module if it's not installed. It only should run this once. If it's already downloaded it, it won't add it. So we're going to use it in our project. We create a new client. We don't know the IP address for this um, host for the device. So we're going to actually get rid of this. We don't need it. You can comment it out and then use it afterwards. And this one we do want. So this one we're going to look for um, uh, devices on the network. And you can find out or, um, what is available to you. Um, in the uh, documentation here, you can see there's a link here, happy documentation can be found here. And then that provides all of the um, classes and properties and, and so forth. And it's the same with most Node uh, modules. Uh, lots of online documentation. A lot of it's very uh, well written. It's quite straightforward demos and examples. Some you can get lost. I've got lost a bit in this TP-Link stuff, but Anyway, we're going to keep it simple for this tutorial. Um, and that's actually 
that's actually great. So what this will do is it'll find all the plugs. So what's returns what's returned in this one is actually um, the device is actually a plug. So it's going to return the plug for us. So we could change that to a plug. Does for now it doesn't matter. So what it's going to do set power state is a method on this uh, object and it will basically turn it on. As we said, um, which is great. But what we want to do is be able to control this uh, functionality. So we're going to create a switch here. So we need to put a new switch um, here, and then we're going to be able to control the uh, this from the switch. So let's have a look in our docs. When we go to reference, and uh, if you just time it all, sometimes it's easier. And there we are. If you type switch, add switch. They are app add switch layout text options. So let's do that app dot add switch. And we're going to turn it, add it to our layout. Um, we want some text. So what should we give it? If actually what we have. Um, if you look at the plug, so if we go back to here, it returns us a plug and we actually have a alias. Now what that will do is it will give you a string of the um, actual plug name of what the uh, what it's been given. So if we do um, device.alias give it a width of 0.9 height minus 1 we could put 0.1 or some options um, and actually what we want it to do as an option we want it to actually um, be the default as the power state so it may the, the switch may be on or off so we want to have that as our default. So we should be able to um, pass a um, thing there, but I think it's not available on the option. So what we can do is we can we can set that power. So let's create it like this. And if we call it like this, and then there should be a set thing here. Set check, there we are. Set checked, change the current check state of the switch. So if we if we call that straight away, set checked, and we can just go device dot, and then I think on here there is a in use, there we are, in use. So we're going to use that one in use and that should return us a true or false. So that creates our switch. We've added it to our layout. We're giving it the title of the um, alias from the device, which will be the text string given to that plug. And we've got a width and a height. And then we're setting the default check there. So let's just comment this one out for start and we can try and run this and see what happens. Now as you see the first time we run it will ask us to install the module and it installs it Okay, that second time was because there was another app running in, in the background. So let's try that. Oh, and there you go. Uh, as long as you've got your smart link adapter powered up onto the network, I should say, you should then see three um, plugs or how many plugs you've got in your adapter, smart adapter, appear with status. So that we know that plug one is uh, Nexus cable that's on. The rest are off. 
Now at the moment, we can flick it, but it doesn't do anything. So we now need to add our um, fallback, uh, call. We need to add a touch uh, callback for our switch, which will then change the power state. So let's go back to our code. And we've got no examples on here. But um, it says toggle buttons here. So there is a there and it's a set on touch show state. And it says that is checked. So we can assume that it's going to have the same behavior. So let's let's add a set on touch. We need to copy that, paste the, the name though, in case you make a uh, error. I'm just going to call it toggle. And what we need to do there is oh, yes, something I've missed out here. We need to toggle, but we don't have the plug to toggle. So, what we're going to do here is add it to our object, our switch object, so we can then access it. So if we do, let's call it plug, because that's what it is, and we're going to make it equal to the device. So now we should have access to the, the device. So if I go this, that should um, return us the uh, object here, and we've got now plug. So if we do plug, and we can now use this set power state. And I open that and it's going to toggle. So now it should switch it on or off. And that should be it. So now what we've got is we've added a switch when we've discovered it. We're setting it um, to the status of what it is in uh, off or on. We've added a um, a set on touch uh, call um, method which now will basically switch it on or off so let's try running this and see what happens so now we have our cable and now if you switch on or off your uh, switches you should actually see a change happen on your um, smart adapter so have a go with that and see if your um, switches come on or off i'm going to leave it at that you can add your title and column headings um, quite easily using standard droid script behavior um, but i'm just i just wanted to show you how to you integrate and connect to a smart uh, hub okay.